Hey friends, it's Len here from 1A Auto. So you saw exactly what just happened to me. I was driving down a nice dirt road, having a grand old time. All of a sudden, it felt as though my right rear wheel locked up on me while I was driving. I've experienced this before, and I know exactly what it usually comes down to. Generally, it has to do with either your brake shoes or even your brake hardware in the rear. Either way, I recommend ordering all these parts from 1AAuto.com. With all that said, let's get into it. Now, believe it or not, most vehicles are actually going to have brake shoes in the rear. I know, you can look right through the wheels and typically you're going to find that you have disc brakes in the front and in the rear. But if you were to take apart those rear brakes, you're going to find that you have shoes in the rear as well. Now, of course, that's not on every single vehicle, but commonly you are going to find that you have emergency brake shoes located right behind that rear rotor. Now, as you can imagine, those brake shoes are going to have to be held in place by something. There's going to be hardware in the back. Typically, there's going to be some pins, some springs, and some clips. Now, of course, sitting back there, if it was to be in a humid or moist environment for a long period of time and not been able to evaporate the moisture out of the area, you're going to find that you have rusted or even rotted parts in the back. You're not even going to see it. Who even takes apart their rear brakes just because? Now, what are brake shoes even supposed to do? Whether it's braking shoes in the back because you have drum brakes or even parking shoes in the back because you have an emergency brake back there, those shoes are actually going to have to be able to expand outward towards the drum area of either the drum or even the backside of that rotor, which of course is supposed to cause friction and either slow you down or even keep you in a stopped position. Now this action can either happen hydraulically when you step on the brake, it's going to push the shoes out towards that drum or if you have the e-brake shoes in the back or emergency brake shoes in the back, it's gonna happen mechanically. Essentially, you either pull up on your emergency brake lever or press down on the foot pedal for the emergency brake. It's gonna tug on a cable, pull a lever in the back and expand out those shoes. So now you know how those rear shoes are supposed to work, whether it's the parking brake or just the brake shoes. But why did we have that locking up issue on just one side? As I mentioned, there's supposed to be some hardware that holds the shoes in place. If the hardware itself was rusted or damaged in any way, and for some reason it just couldn't hold those shoes, the shoes are going to be able to shift instead of sitting still where they're supposed to be. Of course, they're supposed to be able to pivot around a little bit every time you try to stop, but if they can go like this, they could potentially get wedged into an area and then not be able to release until you try to maybe back up the vehicle. You're going to have a temporary fix here because you can move backwards. That's kind of nice. But the next time you try to move forward, you're going to get stuck again. So if you did happen to find that you're having an issue with your brake shoes or even your emergency brake shoes, you want to make sure you replace those shoes and the hardware at the same time. It makes no sense to use new parts with old parts. What if something lets go? The process for this overall should be fairly simple. You're going to have to go ahead and jack up the rear of the vehicle. Take off the wheel. On some cars, you're going to have to take off the caliper and then the rotor. Other cars, you just pop off that rear drum. Now at this point, you have a clear view of the rear shoes and of your hardware that holds it in place. Keep in mind, all this hardware is generally under spring pressure of some sort. So as you're trying to take it apart, it could potentially go shooting across the room or even worse, at you. Of course, once you have the shoes and the hardware out of the vehicle, go ahead and clean up the entire backing plate area. After that, go ahead and install the brand new quality parts you ordered from 1AAuto.com. Now, I hope you liked the video. I hope you found it interesting. If there was something in this video that you found was interesting or you think somebody else might find it interesting, go ahead and share it with them. It would mean everything to me. If you liked the video or even loved the video, go ahead and smash on the like button for me mean the world. While you're at it, go ahead and subscribe, ring the bell. That way there you, all of your friends, can be kept up with all of our latest content. Thanks. Sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to get the springs off of the hardware. Wow. At this point, <laughs> get your springs off of the hardware. Either your brake shoes or even the emergency, or even, or even. I totally lost my whole train of thought, Ty. I'm sorry, kid.